welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to the club. Hi, okay, so yes, if you watch my other video, I was putting on makeup and I'm still putting on makeup now because I cannot focus. I got another radiology video for you. This one is going to be about comps. Oh, what are comps? Yes, those are from Clinic. Yes, because Clinic has been the consumption of my whole entire life for like the past two years blink twice if you need help but it's all good I just you know obviously I'm at that point where I wish that I could be getting paid but it's okay because I still you know need to be certified so I need to take the state exam so I'm chilling I like to be a student <laughs> all right so what exactly are comps that is a question that I have been getting a lot too I mean it comes to nature for me yeah comps this comps that but when I first started I was like what the hell is that <laughs> can you guys tell I'm in a mood I'm totally like in a type of mood today all the time the comp is competency we perform these exams with confidence with the direct supervision of a x-ray tech um, once this is done we um usually I, mean, I feel like most programs have a list of comps that need to be done and they're pretty much all the same once this is done and we have to announce beforehand with the tech hey like i would like to comp on this exam they would say okay let's do this and because they have to be around to physically watch you and make sure that everything is on point make sure you have your technique down make sure your positioning is good they won't say anything while you're doing that because obviously you want to perform in a way that you're confident enough to do it by yourself as if a tech was not looking or as if you are a tech on your own but of course just like for legal purposes they do have to make sure they have to physically watch you so it can be overwhelming and nerve-wracking that they're watching you but um it, they just need to do that until you are comped on the exam once you are comped that means that you were able to do that exam under indirect supervision of the tech what does that mean so direct supervision I explained it is meaning that they have to physically be with you they have to be um, focused that you're doing the exam make sure they're not distracted or anything like that I mean usually techs are really good on that but as a student you want to make sure that they have that responsibility as well to be sure that they are with you 100% of you performing that exam for the patient. When you then are getting comped and then it comes to indirect supervision, that means that the tech no longer has to really be around you for that exam. It doesn't mean that they can be like up in the lobby or in the bathroom while you're doing the exam. <laughs> has to be in a talking distance. So say that they're maybe in the other x-ray room and they are aware that you were doing an exam that you were comped on, that is completely okay. The reason why that we do that or that they have this thing going on for during the x-ray program is because it since we are still students and if something happens that they need help, the student can say, hey, Jessica, can you help me with this? Or what, can you help me like with the technique or something like that? That way that the tech is in that talking distance, they can easily just come over and help um, to perform the exam. That being said, I know something that confused me when I was starting was that, okay, if I get comped on an exam, does that mean that I can't ask for help anymore once I've been comped on it? Like I need to know what I'm doing. No, of course not. There is going to be so many different variations that happen when you're performing an exam. The patient might be difficult and you're just doing a chest x-ray and you will still probably need help and that's going to be fine. Can you get comps taken away? Yes, you can. So the reason why you can get them taken away, and I've had this happen to me only once, and that was when I was brand, brand, brand new, was because I comped on a wrist and the thing was the next time I wanted to comp on it, so the first view is PA, I did the PA view. The next time I wanted to do it, I was going to perform it AP. I was got, I got caught in the moment of doing that. And so the tech said that, okay, I need to take that comp away because comprehensive, you know, obviously you don't, you don't understand. <laughs> so I did get that comp away. Obviously I got it back, but yes, comps can be taken away. Okay, so what is the point of these comps? It just shows how well the student is doing in the program. It keeps them in track. For us, I know that every quarter was different. So every quarter, let's say the first one, we didn't even need any comps. It was more of a an orientation. So if you didn't get any comps, that was completely okay. If we were to get a comp, I remember that the comp could be a chest x-ray. 
that was it. And it was just because it's very overwhelming the first time when you're in clinic. It's scary. You don't know what you're doing. You don't know where anything is. Where's the linen? Where's the lobby? Where's the bathroom? Everything. You have so many questions. They thought why in the world would a comp be something of a priority in the first quarter, which I thought was brilliant. Perfect. I, I loved that. I loved that my program did that. I know that uh, some programs might require one comp, maybe two, but the first one is never, ever a lot. And the overwhelmness of be just being in clinic of getting used to everything is a lot once it was the second quarter i believe it was like five total once it got to the next one it was like 10 so each quarter it progressed when it was summer when we were there five days a week i think we total we had to have probably 20 to 30 ish i'm just rounding it off because i can't remember it off the top of my head it keeps us to make sure that we're confident enough to perform a procedure with indirect supervision after because after the direct it then goes to indirect and the, then of course if we need help from then on we can always ask help from the techs every program is different but every program i believe does have the mandatory comps and then there are special ones like the ones that don't come up as often so say like the scapula toe is not very often and what's another one the patella is not very common either there's also some floral ones that are not as common like hsg arthrograms as well those ones are still comparable but they're not going to be mandatory and then we also have or ones i only have two in mind one it's, it's just having it in one plain field so let's say it's just ap the entire time and then another one is multiple projections ap lateral oblique like you're you're really moving that machine you're rainbowing it and all that stuff then we have um also fluoro we have x-rays specials and that's pretty much all that consists of what is needed for our comps we also have ones in the geriatric region we have probably three so we have like chest we have lower extremity upper extremity we also have pediatrics chest upper extremity lower extremity the ones that are a little bit harder to get we have two cross tables so we have a hip cross table and also a spine cross table all right you guys that is it for today Day. I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe if you liked it and I'll see you in my next one.